I hope you had a good day. In this video, we are going to learn how to use polar arrays, linear arrays, pocketing, and how to deal with constraints on circles. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and create on new. Make sure you're in part design. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and click on create new sketch. Uh, go ahead and select XY plane. Uh, make sure we're on the XY plane. Let's draw a rectangle. Let's constrain it uh, using horizontal and vertical distances from that spot to that spot. That's going to be 100. And from that spot to that spot, that's going to be 50. Let's give it vertical constraints from that spot to that spot. That's going to be 50. And from that spot to that spot, that will also be 50. Our part is fully constrained. And always remember when you're drawing a part, try to see that you anchor it on the X, Y axis point. It always makes designing parts really simple. Okay, we are done with that. Go ahead and click on close. Click on pad, give it a dimension of 10, click OK. We have our base. Let's click on the face of our base. Click on sketch. Draw another rectangle. Give it some constraints. From that spot to that spot, that's going to be still 100. And from that spot to that spot, uh, that will be 35. Let's give it uh, horizontal constraints from that spot to that spot. Uh, that's still going to be 35. And from that spot, to that spot, we shall still give it 35. So let's zoom out and see this. Okay, so that looks fine. So we're going to give it, uh, put some uh, radii in these two corners. So go ahead and uh, select this. Click on that, click on that, click on that, and click on that. Go to constraints, click on radius constraint, Click on that and give it a constraint of 15. Do the same to this constraint of 15. Now, since we have uh, put in uh, those radii or those arcs, uh, our, we need to add more constraints. So let's go ahead and click on vertical constraint. That is going to be from this to this. Uh, still, that will be 35. And then a horizontal constraint from this to this, which will be still 35. And then from this to this is also 35. Our object is for a constraint. Let's go ahead and click on close, click on pad, give it 10, click OK. So you see we have built more material on top of this. So click on that face, click on sketch. Uh, let's draw another rectangle. Let's give it some constraints. So from that spot to that spot, we have a cost rate of 90. And then let's give it a horizontal constraint of 
30. Let's start from here to here. We have a constraint of 30. And then let's stretch this up here, temporary. And we are going to put uh, draw a circle from that spot. And the radius of this circle is 36 millimeters. So, and what we are going to do is we are going to clip off this other part of the circle. So what we, are, we shall do is we shall click on this line, click on that trim tool and click on our circle. See that? So uh, we shall be putting another radii between these two arcs of five millimeters. So let's go ahead and click on that, click on that and that that and that, that and that, that and that. So let's add some constraints. This will be five millimeters, five millimeters, five millimeters, five millimeters. So, Let's put distance constraint. So uh, from this spot to that spot, uh, we know it was 90, right? And then from that spot to that spot, uh, we know that was 30. And then from that spot to that spot, we know it's 30. Sorry, let's delete out that. It's not needed. Sorry. So uh, our object is now fully constrained. So let's go ahead and click on close. Go to pocket and give it a dimension of 10. <laughs> click on that face, click on sketch. Uh, let's go ahead and draw a circle. That's got to have a radius of 15 millimeters. Click close, click pocket, change this to throw, click on OK, click on that face, click on sketch, draw another circle, give it a constraint uh, with a radius of 30, uh, click close, click pocket, this will be 10. Click that inner face, click on sketch, click on create circle tool. Let's right there. Give it a radius cost rate of five. Give it a horizontal cost rate of 32.5. Click close, click pocket, click throw, and click OK. So we see that we have our hole inside this other hole. So what we are going to do is now, this is how we're going to use the polar array. We shall be creating a polar array for uh, six holes in here. So what you do is you click on your recently created pocket, and you click on this polar array tool and just change this to six and click OK and you have your polar array. There we go. So uh, that's an example of how to use polar array. So the next one we are going to create uh, a linear array 
uh, but we shall be doing the holes on the side. So uh, let's go ahead and click on this first, click on sketch. Draw circle, give it a cost rate of five. Give it a linear constraint of 42.5. Click OK. Click Close. Click Pocket. Change that to Through. Click OK. Click that face. Click Sketch. Now we're going to draw two holes here, and then we shall replicate them four times to create our linear array. So go ahead and click on circle, draw the circle, click on horizontal constraint from that spot to that spot, and that will be 92.5. And then let's create a horizontal constraint of that spot to that spot, and that will be Forty point two five. Then we are going to create a radius constraint of five. Uh, let's check this distance. No, this has to be 42. Let's give it 42.25 so we could center it in the middle. Okay, that comes out. So we are going to do the same on this side. Horizontal constraint. That will still be 92.5. Then a horizontal constraint of 42.5. And then a radius constraint of 5. And we are fully constrained on the two holes. Go ahead and click on close. Click on pocket. Click on through hole. And we have our holes in there. Click on OK. Click on the pocket again. At this time, you're going to click on linear pattern. And the distance, if we distribute this equally, uh, the distance will be around 135. So we can increase this to 135. And we want four holes on each side. So we shall put four. And then we shall change this to Y axis. And there we go. We have our four holes distributed. And we can go ahead and click on OK. And then uh, our part is already uh, designed. So uh, the next step, which will be in the next video, which is already actually online, you can see how we can machine this part uh, by generating CNC code uh, using FreeCAD. Uh, that, that was all, and have a good evening. Bye for now.